Hi, everyone. This is Pat. And the message that I have for you tonight, I have entitled, Fear Not, Stand Firm. And it is a summary of Isaiah 36 and some of the lessons that I have learned by reading this chapter again. But let me pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I thank you for the many things that you teach us in your word. I do pray, Lord, that you can bring to my mind again the lessons that you have shown me. And I pray also, Lord, that you will strengthen me to put these lessons into my life today. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And um, I have entitled this message, Fear Not, Stay in Firm. And it is a summary of Isaiah, or my summary of Isaiah 36, 8. And this is the verse that I took from that chapter, Isaiah 36, um, verse 8. Come now, make a bargain with my master, the king of Assyria. I will give you 2,000 horses if you can put riders on them. Hezekiah was a good king. And when Hezekiah was in his 14th year as king of the southern kingdom of Judah, the king of Assyria turned his eye toward Jerusalem. He had already taken over all of the 45 cities of Judah, and it was only a matter of time, it seems, that he was going to capture Jerusalem. The king of Assyria sent a high-ranking officer with a great army, and a sassy message boasting of Assyria's many conquests and their invincibility. This high-ranking officer, the Rabkesha, mocked Israel's past dependence on Egypt. He mocked their God, who is the only true God. This officer also attempted to get the people to rebel against Hezekiah, making promises to them to provide a better life if they surrendered and came to Assyria. But the people remained loyal to Hezekiah and spoke not a word as Hezekiah had instructed them. I like this chapter 36 of Isaiah. And there are many things that um, I can learn from it and be reminded of again. One thing for sure is that I know that the devil is a liar. And he will also use the mouths of sinful men to spread his lies. But God has shown me over and over in his word that I am to keep standing on the truth that he reveals to me um, each day from his word. This is why it's so very important for me to be in God's word. I cannot, I cannot be slack on that. Um, I have to remember that God has given me many opportunities to lead, which means that the devil loves to try to put me in a position so he can do a domino run, you know, where you, if you ever lined up dominoes and you hit the first domino, every one behind it will fall. And he likes to do that with us. And it's very important that I keep in mind um, the responsibility that he has given to me as a shepherd. Um, I also want to thank him for the many shepherds that he put in my path and still in my path that helped me by their example um, to stand firm. And so I have to stand firm and I want to be in his word that makes me strong. 
The other thing I learned from this is that the devil can get very, very loud and very aggressive, but his volume and his aggressiveness is not bigger than my God. And it's very important for me to stop listening um, to the evil one. And many times I have to turn up the volume of truth. Um, I want to do that by uh, my Bible memory, but also praise songs and singing praise songs also helps me to keep the volume up in the right area. And I want to also think about the promises of God and know that he is a promise keeper. He will never go back on his promises. And I am one of his now because of the blood of Jesus. And when I think about it, please, the wimpiness of any ungodly offer compared to knowing and loving the Lord um, it just doesn't hold water. It only sounds good in the beginning, but when it goes through to the end, um, it is not anything, in fact, except to cause me to be full of doubt and running around in confusion again and trying to solve problems that God has already given me the answer. I don't want to do that. I want to be like these people who are here. Um, chapter 36 of Isaiah ended and said that these people remained loyal. They were loyal to Hezekiah. They didn't speak a word, not a word. And in later chapters, um, it's going to be sh shown how God is going to come through um, for Judah and rescue them from what seems like a, a fate that has no end but destruction. And so um, this is my prayer. Father, I pray to remember that the devil is a liar. He will use the mouths of sinful men to spread lies. Please keep me standing firm on the truth that you reveal to me each day in your word. Regardless of the volume of the threat, I pray to recall the truth that you have spoken in my ear. I pray to see the wimpiness of any ungodly offer compared to knowing and loving you. I pray to remember that you have all that I need and more. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen, you guys. I pray that you know this too. Um, and that you also um, will be like those people, Hezekiah's people. They remember what he had done for them and what he had told them. And we want to remember what God has done for us and what he has promised us. And I pray that we can stand firm. This is what it says in 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty eight. Stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, for you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Take care, and God bless you. Good night.